Right, so let's go and have a talk with Gage. I thought about trying my hand at the garbage just to see if I could do it. So let me get this straight. Some scab makes it through the garbage, takes out the boss, and now we're all supposed to follow him? How does that work? He ain't even a raider. All I know is Gage no was in the mountain the other day and he had a... God, look at that. What's that outfit? <laughs> That's so unpra unpractical. Impractical. Man, I've been getting the shakes bad. Is everyone slept. just not? No one's got a name by the look of it. You haven't seen anything that's um out of the ordinary around here, have you? Oh, she not a reader. Hidden, shaped like a bottle cap. I, I thought we told Nuka you world. to keep your ass. I've always dreamed of coming here, and now I finally made it. Everyone this else. place is amazing, don't you think? Yeah, I guess it is. Is she a reader? It sure is. You can just imagine the children smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka Cola and having the time of their lives. It, it must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the capital wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard you? about my Nuka Cola museum? Oh my god! Is she. I, she was in one of my videos. I didn't do that many videos on Fallout 3, but she has the little museum under the. Under the uh, Near the bridge? Uh, yeah, the Nuka Cola Museum. Everyone's heard of that. Really? That's great! I'm so glad word is catching on. Maybe I'll get more visitors soon. You just made my day! Here, let me return the favor. It's not really cold anymore, but I'm sure it still tastes great. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. I could help you out if you want. Oh, n no thanks. I kind of need to keep this a secret. It's really important to me and I just don't know you very well. I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well... Ooh, a quest! Okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka-Cola fan. I've been obsessed with this stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find. Like these awesome Cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. And oh my gosh. And the winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John. Gosh, she's boring the hell out of me. Himself. Who? Brad Burton. I, I remember that name. He was the guy who invented Nuka Cola, right? Exactly. Wow. Not a lot of people know that. At least not anymore. So. To win the contest, you had to find 10 images of Cappy, the Nuka Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Oh, God, this sounds like a boring anymore. quest. Well, I'm betting oh, that sounds so fun. In his office is the original Nuka Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world. And it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. Yeah, sure. Make me an offer. You'd better make good on that promise. I'm not running a charity out here, you know. Of course. Th there's a little bit more to the story, and this is the part I think you'll like. Brad Burton didn't just create soda formulas. He was a genius who embedded all kinds of fantastic things. All I really care about is getting my hands on the Nuka Cola. What inventions? Formula. Like a Nuka Cola. Any other inventions rocket launcher. <laughs> so, what do you think? Sure, why not? Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. You're new here after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest hollow tape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues, and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka-Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! I'm not here for the market. I yeah, I don't want to do it yet. Really only has one rule around here. How'd I get there? Oh. What's he doing fishing? Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, how high were they when they built this place? Oh, up here. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, Hello. Oh, 
The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control. Now that you're in charge. I sure do like the sound of that. Hmm. It's got a weird taste look, I'll be honest of decor. decor. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? I get you. Sarcastic. Oh, sure. I understand. So, are you just gonna paint the bullseye directly on my back, or what? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's a part of the reason you won't see me stepping up and running things. But I'm telling you, it ain't going to be that bad. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Look at old Longfellow in the background just drinking. <laughs> Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. A lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate, take over Nuka Town, get these traders under our thumb. Ah, uh, well, Coulter got lazy. So traders used to he own this place. To sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was, is, a real mess. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. Go on First then. thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll Let's get, get rid of them, money. psychos. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised. I like caps. these guys. They'll listen to you. The pack, hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. <laughs> They'll listen if they're all afraid of me. Okay, settle down. Most of these psychos have seen shit that'd scare your nightmares. They're not gonna be that easy to intimidate. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw this up. Meet the gang of the disciples. All oh, right, need me all the bosses. I added this place. Oh, there's a little chest over here. What's in here? Overboss's trunk. Oh, lots of stuff. Oh, why he's got burnt. Oh, look at this. Fusion core. I'll take that. Oh, there's a nice little safe for us. Must have been the old boss's safe, but I'll, I'll get it and see what's in there. I like how I've never bought a fusion core. I just always keep finding them. That's it. So what's this way then? Fizz Top Grill. The hell? Cultus Terminal. Shake down traders, make fun of Mace, and check on power armor to count cops. Such a deep one. Can I edit this place? Never safe. 
You know, after I found that said it makes lock picking easy. I don't think it did anything. I mean, I always find it quite easy anyway. Nice. It did not do a single thing. Where does this take me? Up or down? I feel like I'm going up. Yeah, I feel like that was up. Neutral world. What was the point of that? I could have just went back down this. So I didn't meet with all the bosses. Watch yourself, boss, because we sure will be. Shut up. Idiot. Silly sausage. Silly goose. Come on, girl, you know we should run this place. Not some little greenie Gage dragged in. We're giving him a oh, second God. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. That last one died Shut too fast. Baby. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just I'm right here. And make sure the others get the message. The new OB, huh? I reckon you're here to talk to Nisha. Hey. She's in charge. So, you're <laughs> Gage's little pet. Look like much to me. You want to talk? <laughs> and what are you? His grandma? <laughs> if I was. I would have slit that little suck up's throat a long time ago. Holy shit. Gage will never be one of us. He's a failure. He's lucky we're giving him a second chance. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. I bet you guys are great at parties. Side with <laughs> us, you'll soon find out. Just don't slack off when it comes to actually doing your job. We got Coulter Nuka Town, and suddenly he forgot the big picture. We both know how that turned out. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. That thing should be shut down. It's dangerous. Dangerous? People are dangerous. That thing's child's play. Just a bunch of traps and critters. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. How does she see? He never followed through. So you better not screw this up. Because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. I'm the best there is. Willing to bet your life on that? <coughs> How does she see? The disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair. Or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live. Everybody wins. I don't like her. I don't make promises. And you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. We'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. How are you doing? Well, look who stopped by. Care to lend a hand? Sure, whatever you need. That easy, huh? There's a place nearby with supplies just waiting to be ours. Some may disagree, but I'm sure you won't let them live long enough to argue. Who will I be facing? Just a few gunners. Oh, easy. I expect you to make it worth my while. That goes without saying. I trust there will be something in this for me. Why? Hurting for caps? Don't worry. You'll get paid. Think I'm gonna enjoy that. Good. Cashing in. 
Rendezvous a team for to kill the gunners. Right, let's go meet the other two bosses. Just ignore them. Tell those freaks to stick to their Hobologist crazies. Then about the Hobologists. Hubologists camp. Nuka kids. put a pretty good beat down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke since she didn't want to hook me up. Val attacked me. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's Nuka kids. What the hell is this? What the hell is the Nuka kids? I did see an achievement scene that if you, you can, if you won some amount of stuff in the Nuka kids, you get achievement. You're the new overboss, right? You sure made an example out of Coulter. Yeah, who knew water and electricity would? Well, judging from the thirst sapper you picked up, apparently you're not the only one. Gage was the one that clued you in. Yeah, I know all about it. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. I think Coulter got exactly what he deserved. I'm getting the impression that nobody liked that guy. Yeah, no one did. That's like calling a death claw a pussycat. With Coulter running the show, business was starting to dry up. Now that you're here, I'm betting everyone stands to make a lot more money. Speaking of which, I'm hoping you're here to spend a little bit of your own at the Nuka Cave. Sure, why not? This place looks like fun. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Fritish. That's how you say his name. Fritish. Fritish. Thanks to yours truly. I'm the only one that can take them apart and put them back together again. If I go, then it's only a matter of time before they fall apart. And all the cute little prizes you can win? Yeah, you can thank me for those too. Careful. You keep patting yourself on the back like that and your arm's gonna break. Give me a break. <laughs> That's all I've got. Look, let me just explain how all this works. After that, if you're interested in playing, great. If not, then no harm done. Every game in the Nuka Kate still takes the original pre-war tokens. Just slot one into the machine and you're off. If your score is high enough, the machine will kick out a bunch of tickets, which you can redeem at a prize terminal for all sorts of goodies. Damn it! Nah, I already spent all my tokens on some magic beans. Very funny. Look, normally I tell people the only way to get tokens is buying them from me. But seeing as you're the new overboss, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you a few other ways of getting them. You can also get tokens from the pre-war token machines in the Nuka Cave. But they only take pre-war money. And if you look around the parks hard enough, I'm betting you'll find a few here and there. I'll tell you what, just to officially welcome you to Nuka World, here's a token to get you started. Give more as a gift, give more else. How about three? Yeah, as a gift to welcome the new overboss. Sure, why not? May as well start off with you on the right foot. Well, I guess that's it. If you need anything, you just let me know. That's oh, just Bob. Don't forget to take oh. this with you, boss. That way you can't say I never did you any favors. <laughs> Nick here talking. Oh. Might as well just get loads. Might as well have a little fun. That'll do. Oh. So what's this? Prize terminal. Can't do it in power arm, of course you can't. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Spend tickets. Prize number one. It's a souvenir. What's prize number five? A mini nuke. Chest place. Missile and stuff. And nuka cola flavors and stuff like that. Uh, so, what do I actually do? I'm actually confused. How'd you play? Oh, is it someone's left a token? <laughs> I'll take that. Is this it? There's, fir there's two vir oh, fists yeah. that was here. How'd I play? Oh, 
not gonna be hard, is it? Put the reload quickly. See, you're supposed to be using the first zapper. <laughs> Eight hundred and fifty three tickets. And what can that get me? Ah, oh, come on. Oh, it's going to take me over again. I can't get any of these. I don't know. Uh, let's just take this souvenir of plastic ball, I guess. I just, want, I just want to get a prize. Where's it go? Where's, it, where's the ball? Oh. Okay. But right, let's re meet the rest of the bosses. I'm, I'm done in this place. Welcome back. I'm done in this place. Right, so who are these guys? The Parlor. I'm guessing it's the operation operators or whatever. All anyone's turned up so far is that he's got that good boy on his arm. So our new overboss is a vault dweller. Oh these guys are talking about me as well. Yeah, I am a, not a vault dweller. Hey. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? when you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees. Bored then, bored now. Regret, a thrill. <laughs> what were you discussing when I walked in? Well, <laughs> you, Overboss. You're an unknown quantity. And we're interested in knowing who we're dealing with. So we'd like if you answered the question. Yes. What went through you as you crushed the life out of that oaf? Bored? Kind of like this conversation, now that you mention it. Hey, you don't get to talk to Mags that way. It's all right, William. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. Ooh. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. <laughs> Make your money. Make money. Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means if you're going to be in charge around here, 
We'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Actually, I'm really more in this for the soda. Great. Another nut- William. Of course, <laughs> So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. But do take a little time to consider the kind of life we could all have if we put this place back to doing what it does best. Mags always saw the hey there. Looking to place. get your hands dirty? Get a job offer then? In the right place. Job came across my lap. Yours if you want it. Sure. Whatever I can do to help. All right then. The do pack it? continue to be a thorn in our side. We've learned the identity of an interesting party they've reached out to. Someone we'd like to have some words with. Apply this shock collar to her. If you can do it without being detected, wonderful. Otherwise, feel free to pummel her into agreement. I hope you're not under the impression I do this for nothing. We're no charity. Good work will be compensated. Who am I up against? Raiders. Nothing but pushovers, really. If I scratch your back, I expect you'll scratch mine. Not to worry, Overboss. Successful jobs don't go unpaid among the operators. My kind of work. Then I'll leave you to it. Right, so I've got another job as well. Another quest, so then I'll... Where? A last street apparel. Mags and William normally have me frisk visitors. But you. I'm sure that's in the. Yeah, it is. Get special. It's it's in the Commonwealth. It's not in Nickatown. Nicker World, sorry, not Nickatown. If you ain't standing Caught one out, of the traders stealing at. food. Welcome to the nest, boss. Brad Burton, what? Is that an elephant? I'm guessing the pack lives in the animal kingdom. Yeah. If you can take something, it's yours. So they like animals. You have to wait in a long time. I'll walk right up. Exactly. Most can handle this shit for that boss. Do you need help finding your place here? Let me hurry up. I can't hear. I can handle it. There's plenty of collars in the caves. The pack that's all hang out. Can they hurry up? Now that Hello. I got a closer look at you, I'm not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. Go steal this guy. I'll send you my resume and references. The fuck is a resume? Whatever. Oh, no matter. I can't hear anything. Turn it to footsteps or effects or something? Let's turn effects down a little bit. Name's Mason. That's, That's Alpha. Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be over boss for now, but I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. I'm not here to make us friends. I'm here to make us some caps. I think we can all respect caps, if not each other. Look, don't let this guy like broke up about Colter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss? If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah, I'd run this place in a heartbeat. Might have to, if you turn out to be a turd. At least it ain't Mags Black, and it's Greek Nisha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. I have big plans for this place. You'll see. Maybe you're the real deal. Well, I thought Coulter was the real deal, too. He's living in a pool of his own blood. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. 
Think Colter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. Things could be worse. Trust me. I've seen it. No shit. We've all seen it worse. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of cat I signed up to. Ain't none of us happy. Are they Not still fighting? The disciples. And they're normally a chip of bunch, so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast. But Gage put the brakes on that. Got us together, and promised he'd find something to deal with Colter. The truth about Gage and Colter? What's the real story behind Gage and Colter? Ain't nothing I ain't already Persuasion you. fails. I'm not Colter. So that better not happen to me. Yeah, sure, boss. I get it. I do. We're totally willing to give you a chance. We are. Look, let's cut to the chase. You're gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh, of course. Not in front of my guys, all right? You've got enough to worry about without a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. You know what? I think we're not so different, me and you. I want you to have this. Consider it a token of our mutual. Oh, what's he gonna give me? And respect. Oh! Increased damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. One last thing before I let you That'll be decent, that'd be fair. I mean, I'm not gonna use it. I'll give it a go. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two way street. What's up? The pack needs you for something. Your wish, my command. I'd have done it myself, but I got my hands full with the zoo. One of our caravans got ambushed. They're holed up and licking their wounds. The trouble's close. God, these guys are way help them. They're not dead already. Do they think the dogs? Who are we talking about here? The railroad. Who will I be facing? Railroad agents. Who do these guys think they are anyway? Oh, we'll do that. Not sure on the, the railroad. I expect you'll scratch mine. The rules of the pack. You help chase down the prey, you share in the spoils. So yeah. Okay. Sounds fun. Right, let's go and go to Fizz Top Grill or whatever it's called and speak to Gage. I wanna kill the railroad. Oh my gas! Still friends with them. I did a mission for them a few hours ago. The overboss returned. Yeah. You know what, it seems like a place one that would have a magazine line around somewhere. It really does. Almost got a caller there. Quantum. No sense turning your nose up at something that might be useful. What the hell? I was maybe wrong. I think I was wrong. Just kind of looks like a place that would have a... a Magazine chilling somewhere. Ooh. Hello, Gage. Hey, Gage. The overboss returns. Well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopath. Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. They're on board. I knew you had it in you. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back. One at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what? That'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. Hmm. I thought the whole point of having minions was to get them to do the dirty work. Yeah, yeah. Give it time. You still got to prove to them you're worth following, remember? So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. Yeah, sure. That sounds like a great idea, Gage. You've 
Got a deal. You're the overboss. Uh, let's just say on Longfellow his cabin. Hey, what's up, boss? Okay, boss. So the Galactic Zone, Kitty Kingdom, Dry Rock Gulch, Safari Adventure, and Nico Nico World's Bottling Plant. So anyway, where I'm, I am going to do that, right? But whatever happened to the Corsa? Where's the Corsa chilling us? Oh, over there, in the battle zone. So many chumps, so little time. Can you, can you give me any information? Heads up. Look alive. Need, yeah. Hey, got any gear for sale? Sure, boss. Take a look. Wait, what? This guy sells ammo or not? He's a vendor? No. That is fantastic. Right, I want to keep... Um... Yao Guai meets Dona because that's how you capture the death claws. Now fly up here. Oh, I can. Do I have a little look around outside there or. There's a little gate over here to be fair. Is this the exit? Someone who's just easily walk in here. But to be fair, I feel like I'd want to do um, Galactic Zone first, because that's where that Corsair is. And to be honest, that's pretty fun. Um, taking it over. Galactic Zone, it'd be like robots and stuff, probably. Boom. Things will get better. One day. Is this the way out? Is there, is there a way out this way? This way Things maybe? Are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with Oh, there's an exit here. Yeah, but yeah, I think the Galactic Zone's probably the best place to start. It's just there as well. There's a little bridge. Why is that look like that's, that was the door, but it's closed? Got like laser turrets. Mr. Froffy. Nukatron. A trader. Mr. Froffy, yeah, but this is the place I'm going to check first. And um, what's that? Investigate the battle site. Tiana's log. Read Tiana's log. Tiana. Oh, I've got some burnt stuff I need to drop. Has to be called Tiana, has to be a T, doesn't it? Oh, right, there it is. And the Galactic Zone, I'm still not sure if you about the salvage runs. That was there four days later. I told, him I, thought, I told him I told him there weren't enough cores left to turn it on. If he had waited an hour, we could have pulled them from around the zone, gotten star control back up and running. I already had people looking. I could have made it work, but now he wouldn't listen. I wouldn't he wouldn't listen, and now God, I hope it's alright. I can hear the screams of going to wait for nightfall and make a run for the gate. Oh. Oh shit. But yeah, I think I'm going to go in this place. Heads up, boss. We ain't alone.